Hi friends, welcome back to Computer Education for Kids. In last video, I have uploaded the four main parts of computer, which is meant for class one and which is in brief. So today's video is all about the main parts of computer, which is meant for class two, and it will be explained in detail. So let's watch the video now. And so today we are going to see the parts of a computer a third unit so last class you have already done the activity of coloring the parts of a plant similarly we have parts of the body here did you see head neck forehead mouth hand legs all these are parts of the body and these are having different functions likewise computer is also having different parts what are the four main parts of computer the four main parts are cpu mouse keyboard and monitor you can see the picture of cpu monitor mouse and keyboard in this picture so today's class we are going to see just about monitor and mouse so the first one is monitor everyone might have seen the monitor right see this picture the monitor will look like this did you see the monitor's picture now we will see some of the features of monitor what is it used for monitor is looking like a television screen how does monitor look like it is looking like a television screen and what is the function of monitor it will display all the work that is done on the computer for example if i am typing something using a keyboard where can i see it i can see it on the monitor we can watch cartoons and movies using a monitor so let me tell you once again it is looking like a television screen and whatever work we do on the computer we can see it on the monitor we can watch cartoons and movies using a monitor next one what we are going to see today is mouse see the picture of mouse here it is looking similar to the animal mouse right both are looking similar but they function differently both are having tail but their functions are very different the tail of computer mouse is connected to cpu it is looking like a cable now the first function of mouse is it will point at objects using a pointer whatever things you are seeing on the computer on the monitor we can point at that using the mouse then second one is we can draw pictures and play games using the mouse it will have two or more buttons and who found the first mouse it is douglas engelbart he found the first mouse so what is the use of mouse we can point at objects using a pointer whatever objects are seen on the computer can be pointed next we can draw pictures and play games there are two or three buttons on that and, and who found that douglas engelbart this topic what we saw was monitor and how does it look like it look like a television screen it will display all the work that is done on the computer we can watch cartoons and movies using a monitor you can see the picture of the monitor on the right hand corner the next topic what we saw was mouse what how does the use of mouse we can point objects on the monitor we can draw pictures and play games using a mouse it has two or more buttons and who made the first mouse it is douglas engel but So today we are going to see the next main part out of the four parts. What is that? Keyboard. Did you see the picture of the keyboard here? You can see many letters, numbers, special characters, symbols, arrow marks. Everything is displayed here, right? What all these things are looking like a uh, buttons. What are those buttons called as? It is called as keys. When we press the keys, what will happen? We can type letters, numbers, characters, or symbols. This pressing of key is called as typing. What will happen if we press the keys? We are giving commands to the computer by pressing the keys. So, what is keyboard? Keyboard is another main part of a computer. It has many buttons called keys, and we can while pressing the keys, we can type letters, numbers, characters, or symbols. We are giving commands by pressing the keys. And what is this pressing of keys called as? It is called as typing. The next main part of computer is CPU. Did you see the picture of CPU here? CPU stands for Central Processing Unit. That is a full form of CPU. It is called as a brain of the computer. It is a very 
important part since it is called as a brain of computer what will happen it will control all the other parts of a computer likewise our body in our body our brain is controlling all our parts like eyes neck nose mouth ear everything likewise cpu will control all the other parts of the computer and that's why it is called as a brain of a computer the next part is brainstorm we have a question in that can a computer work without any of its four main parts that is monitor mouse keyboard and cpu can a computer work with any without any of its four parts no computer cannot work a computer needs all the four parts to work if monitor is not there we cannot see if mouse is not there we cannot point objects if keyboard is not there we cannot type and cpu is not there nothing will be working next discuss and learn is it possible to replace a cpu with some other machine is it possible to replace a cpu with some other machine no it is not possible why because cpu is a brain of the computer so we cannot replace it with any other machine thank you so much for watching i hope this was a useful information so if you like my presentation please click on the like button and also do not forget to subscribe my channel see you in next upload with another bunch of information